Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and this is my weather-beaten garden. The weather this week has been terrible. We've had almost constant rain, some of it heavy, and last night we had gale force winds, so there's a bit of damage around the garden. Let's go and assess. This poor plant's taken a bit of a battering, but I'm sure he'll recover. The daisies are taking a very relaxed approach to things, but I'm not going to do anything with them until this wind drops. My poor, poor giant poppies have taken a bit of a beating, I'm afraid. Not much I can do with them either till the wind drops. On the plus side, this flower bed has certainly enjoyed all the extra moisture. As are the onions, which have just gone berserk this last week. This poor plant really is looking quite sad now. But, on a positive note, there are some new shoots coming up. So what I think I'll do is I'll chop away these older flowers which have just about had it by now to make way for the new shoots. Need to be careful I don't cut any of the new shoots that are coming up. I'll just push me bamboo in ready for when they go all lollopy again. I've got something to tie them to. It's better. This rose has certainly taken a bit of a battering. These will have to come off. And this climbing rose needs a bit of support too. Okay, I've got me twine. That's a bit better. And I think my Philadelphus could do with a bit of help as well. stress or strain on any of the branches. That's a bit better. There's a couple of branches on this rose that have just snapped completely. Pull those out. And while I'm at it, I'll deadhead this. Well, I think that's about all the damage I can find. Got away quite lightly, really. I've had that strange feeling of deja vu. Don't worry, I'm just going to chop it this week. <sighs> oh, one more. If anybody knows what this stuff is, please tell me. weather also brought out some of my enemy the Borg, so if you're a bit squeamish, look away now. The telltale signs of Borg destruction. And he's certainly not a small one. Nor these who are after my broccoli. Or this one who thought he'd help himself to some young beetroot shoots. When it comes to battling the Borg, you have to be ever vigilant. I will not be assimilated. And while we're on the subject of things in the garden, Look, I found his new secret base. Um, excuse me? Yes, I should think so too. So here I am doing a spot of weeding. And all I can hear is this noise. And do you know what it is? Dude, I don't speak blackbird. I don't know what you're saying, okay? Whew, it's nice to get out of that wind, me in the greenhouse, but there's an awful lot I need to do in here this week. Let's start with the tomatoes. 
Despite my best efforts, this moneymaker plant is absolutely determined to have a bush-like habit. So I'm going to have to support this, otherwise I'm going to lose the fruit here. You obviously become a bit legless. So, let's give you a hand. Ah, that's much better. Much happier with that. I'm going to have to do something with the moneymaker at the end too. It's doing the same thing. That's a bit better. Actually, they're all getting to the stage where they need a bit of extra support. After an intense bondage session like that, they're probably hungry and really I should be feeding them by now anyway. I'll add 20 mils of delicious tomato food into my watering can. Give it a jiggle. And feed my babies. Next job is to tidy up my courgettes, like getting rid of some dead leaves, getting rid of these unfertilised things that aren't going to grow anymore, and just generally tidying it up. Now we can see the wood for the trees. I'm going to give you a nice little feed. Well, after all that tidying up and cutting back, I did get a couple of quite bizarrely shaped courgettes out of the deal. And last of all, my peppers need a good water. Now, having taken care of all the bigger plants, I've got to take care of all the smaller plants, and there's a lot of potting up to do, and here's why. I bought a mint plant that needs potting up. My apple seedling is doing really well, but it's starting to outgrow this little pot, so it needs potting up. My succulents are doing better than expected, so I'm going to split these two and put them into two separate pots. Some of my chilli plants are doing exceptionally well and the roots are starting to poke through the bottom of the pots. Now rather than watch me repot everything, why don't you go and have a look around the garden and come back when I'm finished? timing. Let me show you what I've been doing while you've been away. My succulents are now in two separate pots. My apple seedling, well mini tree really, is now in a much bigger pot. The mint's been repotted. The desi chilies and the bonnet type chilies have all been repotted. I've transplanted some coriander and I've also put six coriander seeds into these pots ready for my next crop. I'm feeling much happier about the state of things in the greenhouse now, so I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching, and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden.